what about modified DSLRs? You can modify a DSLR or you can buy a modified DSLR or you can send your camera body away and have it modified for astrophotography. And one way to then save money on that is because you you might have a newer more modern DSLR that you want to save for terrestrial but for astrophotography you don't really need that amount of megapixels and a lot of the newer features you're not using when you're doing astrophotography anyway so why not just get a, a camera that's a few years old um, I have a couple of T3i's a lot of people use T3i's it's 18 megapixels and for most focal ratios you know that's a reasonable amount given the scene the quality of the air that you have at most you know sites that amateurs are, are going to be at your typical scene is going to be around two arc seconds per pixel so having a sensor that's giving you 0.3 arc seconds per pixel or something is is just not adding any capability and it just means you're spending more on the camera so you could get an older camera and get it astro modified so there's different there's different types of astro modifications there's you know and it's all about uh, what do they do with that IR filter other than remove it they can just completely remove it and then that typically means that your autofocus isn't going to work anymore which maybe you don't care about for astrophotography but you know maybe you did want to use it sometimes during the day or they can replace that filter with a piece of clear glass or a less a, a wider band pass less restrictive on the IR which will give you back your autofocus and then also allow you to do some amount of terrestrial photography by adding back either as a clip-in clip -in filter or as a, um, a screw-on filter to the lens, some type of IR filtering. Typically, the sensor self-cleaning sensor function is also not going to work. And then, so those, those are all about, and you can read on the different places that do these modifications. They all have long descriptions of, for two or three different versions of their modifications, and they'll explain exactly what the features and functionality and limitations are of each of them. The camera that I have, I bought it used, already modded. It was a HyperMod is, is the branding that the guy used, and it's a full spectrum, so it's got clear glass replacing that IR filter so it will still autofocus and yes the, the sensor cleaning doesn't function there's also removing that Bayer mask that is what makes a DSLR a color camera and that turns it into a mono camera and it turns it into a very high resolution typically a mono camera the problem is is that that Bayer mask is is chemically bonded or glued to the sensor and so it has to be almost scraped off and so that's a, a risky modification there's a there's a fairly good chance of damaging the sensor so at your own risk I guess and then there's also we talked about DSLRs aren't cooled typically um, certainly stock ones aren't so there's also mods for cooling you can just put it in a box that you've cooled with a Pelter cool or, uh, or sometimes called a tech unit or some other method of cooling a box but without actually cutting into the camera and having a way for that thermal energy to get from the the heat sink on the image processor and the sensor out to the outside world it's it's pretty tough uh, that, that's called a cold finger where you modify the camera to let the, the you have some metal reaching from the outside of the camera to the inside of the camera. Uh, mine I modified myself and made it water cooled by cutting a hole in the inside of the LCD cavity. If you fold the LCD out of the way on a T3i, the inside piece of plastic is ra is right over 
the RF shield for the electronics. And so if you cut that away, then there's metal right there. And, and I just built up some thermal heat sink, insulating heat sink and copper shims and everything. And then I've got water cooling like you would use in a modified uh, gamer computer uh, a water block and, and chilled uh, water to cool that. You can also have it professionally done with tech units and, and filter cooling and, and all that. So that's another mod that you can do for a DSLR.